In this lecture, we'll discuss about the mechanism of sorting and the regulation in the intracellular transport. Means how the proteins get sorted, means how they are classified and uh, distinguished themselves from other and they are translocated to a particular organelle or the particular target location. So, we'll discuss about this mechanism. The, this is called mechanism of sorting and the regulation in intracellular transport. So let's get started. First of all, if we look into how the protein are synthesized, we know that protein are synthesized in the ribosomes. Or ribosomes are also called as the factory of proteins. So basically, protein are synthesized from the cell organelle, which is known as the ribosome, and the ribosome basically are present at the two positions. Either they are free in the cytosolic or cytoplasm or they are attached to the endoplasmic reticulum that is the ref endoplasmic reticulum. So their position are of the two type either they are free in the cytoplasm or they are attached to the endoplasmic reticulum. So, in this way, the protein is synthesized and they are sorted and they are targeted to the different organelle or the target location where their function is required. Now, let's see how the protein is synthesized. First, inside the cell, the DNA molecule inside the nucleus is present. It undergoes the transcription process where the mRNA of the gene is made in the nucleus and it is then transported outside the nucleus into the cytosol or the cytoplasmic side where it get attached to the ribosomes and it start the synthesis of the protein and the synthesis of the protein is known as the trans, uh, translation process. As we can see in this diagram, the mRNA is attached to the ribosome that is the smaller unit and the larger unit of the ribosome. And again started the synthesis of the protein. Now it started growing in the size and when the complete protein is synthesized it get folded and folded and uh, contains some signal sequences and then it is present inside the cytoplasm. Now let's see now understand what is protein sorting and what is protein targeting. Protein sorting and targeting means it is a phenomena in which uh, or we can say it is a cellular process by which a syn newly synthesized protein are directed to the desired location or desired subcellular location. Okay, so newly synthesized protein are directed, size protein are directed to desired location. It could be any organelle, it could be any uh, cell membrane and it may be exterior to the cell. So, in this way, protein sorting and targeting works. Now, how actually uh, the particular protein get directed to the particular organelle only, not to some another organelle and it is only possible because of the signal peptide or the signal sequence molecule. Now what are these particles or what are these signal peptides or sequences means? These are the stretch of the amino acid or we can say it is a stretch of the 50 to so, uh, 60 long residues of the amino acid and they are empipathic in the nature. Empipathic means it contains the hydrophilic part as well as the hydrophobic part. So it contains both the amino acid and they are usually present at the end terminus of the growing polypeptide chain means at the end of the polypeptide chain and these signals peptide or signal sequences they act as a recognition signal for the receptor where these protein are to be attached or these protein are need to be translocated. In this way, it helps in uh, sorting and the targeting of the protein. Now, there are some other uh, signal patch are also present. These are not actually present at the end of the growing polypeptide chain. Instead, they are present in the internal of the polypeptide chain. And this is possible because of the juxtaposition of the uh, 
amino acid before they get folded they are separated from one another so these are the two ways by which the protein uh, are able to uh, sort themselves and target themselves to the desired location or the desired organelle any uh, desired location where the protein needs to be the transformed.